Hi everyone, my name is Walter Rowe. I'm a Capture One affiliate. Today I want to talk about synchronizing changes in a session into a catalog after you've imported the session into the catalog. Normally when you import a session into a catalog, the changes are copied from the session uh, adjustment files on disk. Remember sessions are file based and they're written into the catalog database. That import is a one-time, one-way transaction. What I'm going to demonstrate for you today is a way that you can go back and get new adjustments from your session into your catalog or new images from your session into your catalog. Um, here we have an image in a folder. You'll see there's a total of eight variants. There's actually one, two, three, four files actually on disk, but there's eight variants. And over here, I have a session, which is also the same eight images, They're the same eight variants. Now, right now, you can see that all of this information is the same. Same color label, star ratings. Uh, this is all the same. I've imported the session into the catalog. It's referencing the exact same path on disk. If I, for example, select this uh, 2191 in the catalog and say show in finder I go to the sessions folder to the capture folder within the sessions folder and there it is and if I go over to the session and I do the same show in finder I go to exactly the same path so there you can see that the session and the catalog are referencing the same files now let's say that I'm in my session here let me go let me have to make sure I'm actually in my session. Let's say in my session here, I make a change to this first image. Maybe I change the label to a red label. And let's say that over here on this variant number three, uh, in the third position, I change the star rating to a five. So this is a session. So it's just written those changes out to a, out to a file on disk. If I go back to my catalog, those those changes are not here. Catalog doesn't see those changes. What I can do is I can delete these images from my catalog so the catalog no longer knows about them. I can say move them to the catalog trash. I can go to the catalog trash and empty the trash. Now I'm just going to remove them from catalog. I don't want to delete them from disk. If I delete them from disk, that actually deletes them from the session folder. We just want to remove them from the catalog because the catalog's referencing them. We just want to remove the catalog reference. So here we remove them from the catalog. Now I'm going to go back to my folder that's still pointing at the capture folder within my session and I'm going to say synchronize. Notice now this little pop-up window that says it's going to import two new images. And it also has a checkbox for show importer. I'm going to, I want to make sure that I check that importer, uh, show importer box. Notice here's the two images that the catalog no longer knows about. Notice that exclude duplicates is not checked. When you're synchronizing a folder, it's always excluding the duplicates. Uh, I don't want to set any metadata because there's already metadata with these images. I want to make sure there's no styles or anything applied. And the checkbox in the adjustments panel that says include existing adjustments is checked. I want to make sure that that box is checked. It may not be checked by default. You want to make sure it is checked. So I'm going to say import all. And now you can see that this image now is back in my catalog. The first image has the red label. And the third variant of this image now has the three stars. And when I check the uh, catalog and select the uh, capture folder I see that here's the first image with the red label now and here's the third variant of this image that now has five star rating so here we've quickly demonstrated that in fact you can um, resync some adjustments from your um, session back into your catalog but the way you have to do it is to delete those images from your catalog um, delete the reference to those images from your catalog and then resync the folder in which those images reside. 
Um, this works only if you have uh, your catalog referencing files in their original session folders. If you have imported a session into a catalog and then you have moved those images to some other location outside of that session, uh, this process will not work. This only works when you've imported a session into a catalog but you've left the original session folder structure intact including where the adjustments are stored. Another caveat to this process is you have to know that you have not made any changes to these files, to these images, inside your catalog. If you've made adjustments, if you've changed metadata, if you've changed ratings or labels inside your catalog, um, you will lose those changes by following this process. So um, you want to make sure that if you like to use like a master catalog of all your sessions for filtering that you're not making changes inside your catalog. Um, you want to you want to make sure that you're only making changes inside your session. When you do that, then you can always resync that information back to your catalog uh, using the process that I've just outlined. Hopefully, this was helpful for you. Uh, please follow the links in my uh, YouTube profile. Uh, I do earn a small commission when you use my links to purchase Capture One products. I am an affiliate. I'm not an employee. I don't get paid to do these videos, but if you use my links, I do earn a small commission. Thanks. Hope you have a great day.